Alrighty, let's check this one out. A weightlift assignment. As always, let's play this in full first. Cool. All right, so my impression, there's some good stuff in there already. I think there are a couple of things that I would watch out for in terms of your your weight. And I'm not going to comment on... But there's not that much to comment on the body mechanics. There's some good stuff. I think you can play a bit more in terms of offsets where... Like everything is kind of coming cleanly out of one axis. Whereas you could potentially push... Um, what's the word? You know, with one side of the body more, that might be even like one leg a bit more offset so you don't have that that uh, tangent kind of overlap right there that kind of follows you throughout the shot so it's a bit more offset with a, a bigger negative space there and imagine you know like one side like maybe he's lefty or righty maybe one arm is lower and the other arm is a bit higher so you already have a bit more asymmetry in there it will change the body posture and then with that that move up there might be a bit a bit of a bigger up like this with the root right now you have a bit of a move up this way and then it just kind of stops and it kind of goes back this way up and then down it's a bit messy there and i just said i'm not going to comment on mechanics and i'm doing it <laughs> this is just kind of the the broader things also your head feels like it's on the head align or on a head ik where you can see all that movement in the in the pelvis and body but the rotation of the head is the same so the head will kind of go back with it a bit more, be a bit more stiff. Because all of that is going to be like, very tense. And the lifting, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have the head be so gimbally, if that's a word. Watch out, this gets a bit close in terms of intersections. This would be a good moment to actually have your head further back. And kind of maybe off to the side with an expression there. Like, I don't want to get my face in that ball. But... All of that should be secondary to reworking your weight. So to me, this is a massive ball, and you might argue not that it's made out of stone, but to me, it seems that's going to be really heavy. And just the way he just really wraps himself around this is very cool. But my anticipation is this is going to be heavy. But when you play this, whoop, this comes up really easily. So to me, what I would do is. I like that this goes up first because all of that is so heavy. This goes up first, right? And realize this is really heavy. And then you got from here to, let's say, I don't know, from here to here maybe, just this much, just a little bit of a lift that really starts to straighten out those arms, shoulders are going down, pelvis is up, where you really feel like, oh, this is going to be really heavy. And then because of that, he starts to lean back and move the 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 uh the chest back the head goes back as well everything starts to go into a reverse c curve where it's really really trying to lift that up that gets into something like this where imagine that leg would be for the back like i said before my horrible drawing but he's really ah oh, trying to go back and it's all fully stretched again with a bit of an offset in your ball but because of that you can have that moment of ah oh, going back and then bam and then it lands on his legs and then you have this and then same thing here as you go up you might readjust a bit but then same thing to me again where you want to feel that that strength and really have him oh, go back and lean back the head is back and just pull this back and that's better here i think it would still go a bit slower through here and ramp up but then really ramp up into here. It's basically, it's slow, but it's heavy. And then, uh, where you have that moment through here where it's, he's lifting it through his pelvis and his stomach there. And, uh, and it's kind of like, I'm throwing it up. Bam. Uh, boom. So it's a bit more lift and the ball can have a little bit of, boom, like a little bit of a, it's slightly above the surface. Like right now, it kind of slides over it. You kind of need to be just, if that's the surface here, the ball is maybe this high. And it kind of throws it up, it goes, boom, and then it rolls a bit. So to me, this goes up just to be too quickly, this one. So for this, I would really go, like this slow, like, and then, 
And then you're here going adjustment and then into something like this. Uh, these sound effects are very, uh, those are professional sound effects <laughs> in giving you the timing. Uh, but that's what I would do. Now, all of that, of course, is going to change some things. But um, as I said before, at the very beginning, I'll probably change up those arm poses for more interesting asymmetrical posing. But generally, the timing, I would work on that. I really feel the, oh, the slow lift. And then as he goes back, again, try to reverse that, bring that head back. So you're going from a full spine reversal there into... Whoa. Then you can always curl forwards to readjust. And then you curl back again. And then using this to lift up the, the, um, the ball up. Bam! Into that. All right. That's kind of what I have. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.